Good morning dear children welcome back in today's session we will discuss class 4 term 3 unit 2 in social science the story of madras presidency this is part 1 of the video series come children let us learn before going into today's session let us understand what are we going to learn in this unit we will try to list today's states and districts that were a part of madras presidency describe the history of madras presidency recognize the districts of madras presidency and name the tourist places in tamil nadu let us learn what is presidency p r e s i d e n c y presidency A presidency is an administration or an executive or the collective administration and government entity that is existing around an office of president of a state or a nation. So children the Madras presidency or the presidency of Fort St George is also known as Madras province. was an administrative subdivision of british india so madras presidency was under the control of british it was a region ruled by the british it included southern india that is the indian states of andhra tamil nadu kerala karnataka telangana odisha as well as the union territory of lakshadweep dear children the madras city was the winter capital of the presidency and the utkamand or the uti was its summer capital the east india company purchased the village of madras patnam and a year later established the agency of fort st george which is the predecessor of madras presidency with this introduction let us go into the lesson Children Madras presidency was formed in 1801 When was the Madras presidency formed in 1801 It was an important province of British India it was a region of administration of British India It was also known as Madras province and officially known as the presidency of Fort St George What was the official name of Madras Presidency? It was Presidency of Fort St George. When was the Madras Presidency formed, children? It was formed in 1801. And whose province was it? It was the province of British India. What was the official name? The Presidency of Fort St George. Yes, it included areas of southern India such as states of Tamil Nadu. Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, parts of Odisha and the union territory of Lakshadweep. So which were the area that were included? Southern area you had Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra, Karnataka and towards north side you had parts of Odisha and the union territory of Lakshadweep. Dears the picture shown is that of a ma ma map of Madras presidency in the year 1911 you can find the different places coming under it Dear children the city of Madras now known as Chennai was the capital of the presidency which was the capital of presidency Madras presidency it was the city of Madras what is the present name of it it is Chennai Dear children the city which was known as Madras was officially renamed Chennai on 17th July 1996 it was uh, to change the name city name of the city in a native language so it was renamed from Madras to Chennai Dear children in 1862 the province was divided into 22 districts So in 1862 it had the province had 22 districts then it was divided into 24 then two more districts were added to it so the total number of district was 24 later in 1911 the province was further divided into 26 districts 
including North Arcot, South Arcot, Chingalpit, Madras, Salem, Coimbatore, Tiruchirappalli, Tanjore, Madura, Ramnath, Tinnevelli and Nilgiris in Tamil Nadu. So earlier initially it was 22 districts, 2 were added it became 24. In 1911 it was further divided into 26 districts and that included North and South Arcot, Chingalput, Madras, Salem, Coimbatore, Tiruchinopoli, Tanjavur, Madura, Ramnath, Tinnaveli and Nilgiris in Tamil Nadu. It was under British rule until 1947, until India got its independence from the British, it was Madras Presidency was under the British rule. Children, did you know the first British governor of Madras Presidency was Edward Clive. Edward, E-D-W-A-R-D, -E Edward Clive, C-L-I-V-E, Edward Clive, the picture you can see there. Who was the first British governor of Madras Presidency? It was Edward Clive. And the last governor was Archibald Edward Nye. Archibald Edward Nye. Archibald A R C H I B A L D. Archibald Edward E D W A R D. Edward Nye. N Y E. So the first governor was Edward Clive. And the last governor was Archibald Edward Nye. Now we will see what happened after independence. In 1947, we got our independence from the British rule. August 15th, India was declared independent. So, what happened to Madras Presidency? After 147 years of its formation, the Madras Presidency was renamed as Madras State in 1947 as India gained independence. So the Madras Presidency was renamed as Madras State. And in 1956, the Madras State consisted of four regions comprising of 13 districts, namely Madras, Chengalpet, North Arcot, South Arcot, Salem, Tiruchirappalli, Tanjavur, Coimbatore, Nilagiri, Madurai, Tirunelveli, Ramanathapuram and Kanya Kumari. So what are the 13 districts of Madras state? They were Madras, Chengalpattu, North Arcot, South Arcot, Salem, Tiruchirappalli, Tanjavur, Coimbatore, Nilagiris, Madurai, Tirunelveli, Ramanathapuram and Kanyakumari. Shall we learn the spellings children? Madras, M-A-D-R-A-S, Madras. Chengalpattu, C-H-E-N-G-A-L, Chengal, P-A-T-T-U, Chengalpattu. North Arcot, N-O-R-T-H, North, A-R-C-O-T, Arcot, North Arcot. South Arcot, S-O-U-T-H, South, A-R-C-O-T, South Arcot. Salem, S-A-L-E-M, Salem, Tiruchirappalli, T-I-R-U-C-H-I-R-A-P-A-L-L-I, Tiruchirappalli. Tanjavur, T-H-A-N-J-A-V-U-R, Tanjavur, Coimbatore, C-O-I-M-B-A-T-O-R-E, Coimbatore, Nilgiris, N-I-L-G-I-R-I-S, Nilgiris, Madurai, M-A-D-U-R-A-I, Madurai, Tirunelveli, T-I-R-U-N-E-L-V-E-L-I Tirunelveli Ramanathapuram R-A-M-A-N-A-T-H-A-P-U-R-A-M Ramanathapuram and Kanyakumari K-A-N-N-I-Y-A-K-U-M-A-R-I Kanyakumari it was officially renamed as Tamil Nadu in 1967. In 1967, the Madras, the state of Madras was renamed as Tamil Nadu. Dear children, 
the state that is Madras state was renamed as Tamil Nadu on 14th January 1969 by the Chief Minister C. N. Anadurai. Before winding up today's session, let us have a recap of what we discussed in this session. Children, we had the introduction of Madras Presidency. We learned that Madras Presidency was formed in 1801. It was an important province of British India. It included areas of southern India like states of Tamil Nadu, Kerala, Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, parts of Odisha and the Union Territory of Lakshadweep. The city of Madras, now known as Chennai, was the capital of the Presidency. It was under British rule until 1947. After independence, that is around 147 years of its formation, Madras Presidency was renamed as Madras State in 1947 as India gained her independence. In 1956, the Madras state consisted of four regions comprising of 13 districts. It was officially renamed as Tamil Nadu in 1969. Dear children, in the next session, we will discuss about Region 1 of Madras Presidency. Now it is worksheet time, worksheet number 1. Roman number 1, fill in the blanks. Madras Presidency was formed in dash. Madras Presidency was formed in dash. Question number 2. Madras Presidency was officially renamed as Tamil Nadu in dash. Madras Pre Presidency was officially renamed as Tamil Nadu in dash. Roman number 2. State true or false? Question number 1. The city of Madras was the capital of Madras Presidency. The city of Madras was the capital of Madras Presidency. With that, we wind up today's session, my dear children. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please subscribe our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Guide. Thank you. Stay blessed.